Graphic 45 week on the Paper Crafters Library blog. Every day this week we will be featuring different projects using Graphic 45's gorgeous tropical travelogue collection. Today's project is a set of cards packaged in a decorated burlap bag. Because there are a lot of elements and techniques involved in this project, I've broken it up into five separate videos. Welcome to Paper Crafters Library. In this video, I'm going to show you how I used Graphic 45's designer paper as my focal point here to create this set of four gift card sets. I will show you in the video how I created one of these. You will repeat that three more times creating this beautiful gift set. So let's get started. You're going to need a 3 inch by 8 inch piece of the classic smooth ivory cardstock from Basil and I've scored it at the 4 inch mark with my paper trimmer and scoring blade. You're going to fold along that crease to create a 3 inch by 4 inch card base. Once you have that complete, you can set your bone folder aside for a moment and you're going to need a piece of Java cardstock that measures 2 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. You're going to center and stick this to your card base using some double sided adhesive. And you just want to make sure that you leave equal borders on all four sides. Once you've got that stuck down, then you're going to need a piece of designer paper. And here I'm using the Hibiscus Haven pattern found in the travel sorry, the Tropical Travel Collection by Graphic 45. You're going to center and stick this to your Java cardstock, leaving equal borders on all four sides. Now that you have the front of your card matted, you can set aside your adhesive for a moment and you're now going to need a blending tool as well as Ranger's Vintage Photo Distress Ink. And I'm just going to ink up my blending tool and I usually tap that off so I don't have a ton of ink on there and just start pulling my ink on the outer edges of my card base adding that vintage look to the card front so I'm just working all the way around pulling the ink as I go So once you have that done, you can set your ink and your blending tool aside for a moment as well as your card base and we're going to start assembling some of our embellishments. So to start your embellishments, you're going to need a small tag. I found this tag at my office supply store and it measures 1 and 3 eighths by 2 and 3 quarters. I'm going to stamp this with the postage looking um, stamp found in my Graphic 45 Tropical Travelogue. I'm going to stamp that using my Vintage Photo Distress Ink from Ranger. So just go ahead and ink up your image. Once you have the surface of your image covered, you're going to stamp this on the surface of your tag. Once that's done, you can set your stamp aside. You're not going to need that. Um, and you're going to need your blending tool now, still with your Vintage Photo Distress Ink. And you're just going to sponge along the edges, distressing or giving a distressed look to your small tag here. So I'm just pulling that ink onto the surface of the tag. And as long as you keep your blending tool moving, you won't get any unsightly sponge lines. So just keep working until you're happy with the coverage of your tag. I've pulled ink almost over the complete surface of my tag there. So I'm happy with that. Now you can set aside your blending tool for a moment. And you're going to need some linen thread. And you're going to need about a... 10 inch piece and then a second piece that measures uh, 2 inches. So I've got a 10 inch piece there. I'm just going to cut off a small 2 inch piece. 
and you're going to take this 10 inch piece, insert one end up through the hole of the tag, and just keep threading your linen thread through the top of your tag a few times, wrapping it around the tag as you go. Once you have this wrapped a few times, you're then going to take your small piece and we're just going to tie this around our ends in a double knot. And you want to make sure that the knot stays as close to the tag as possible. So just once you have a single knot around it, tie, slide the knot down and just tie that into a double knot. And then you're going to trim off the longer ends of your linen thread here. And you'll see that you have four ends at the top of the tag. That's exactly what you want it to look like. So once you have your tag set, embellishment here. You're going to set that aside and you're now going to need a larger embellishment and here I'm using the botanical pattern paper found in my Graphic 45 trop Tropical Travelogue collection designer paper and this is in the 8x8 pad so these are a little bit smaller so you're just going to trim off one of these embellishment pieces with your paper snips.